Hi guys, today's work is inspired by Asian decorative art. For this theme I decided to paint a dragon, and it's not only because I really liked painting dragons, but also because it has totally different meaning than it would normally have in western mythologies. In China he is regarded as a god, he is a very powerful creature with a royal dignity and he also brings luck. Instead of spitting fire, he brings water, so it is uh, quite a positive feature in agricultural countries within a reason, and because of that he is often seen with clouds. In different sources he can be seen very differently, but a uh, general idea is that he is very long and he has no wings. I was inspired by ceramic in Victoria and Albert Museum in London, where I took a picture of a few vases, picturing a dragon with some clouds around him. I sketched out the dragon itself and then painted with white paint all the area around him. Then I'm using shiny metallic paint to paint the body of a dragon, and I'm using the lighter color at the top and then darkening a little bit at the bottom. Uh, in the mouth it's going to be much darker since there's going to be the most shadows. To make it look more three-dimensional, I'm adding shadows at the bottom and I'm smudging them a little bit to the backward, so it's kind of cast a shadow. My dragon had a little bit more details than the picture that I was painting, but I still had to look at this picture. So I had a reference of the placement uh, of things. For example, if you're looking at dragon's front legs, the one is facing forward and other facing backwards. And I noticed that nearly every dragon that I was looking at had the same position of the legs. So I'm finishing here with the dragon. I outlined the, uh, the darkest part just with a thin aligner and then I'm adding fins and also painting the scales with a stencil. After I finish with the dragon, I'm starting painting clouds. I also had a couple of pictures of these clouds and kind of made my own shape, probably very similar to the original one. I didn't really analyze the cloud shape, I just went with the flow and here rather paying attention to how it looks like rather than authenticity. With shadowing clouds I first started at the bottom of the cloud or at the bottom of the bend uh, with a darker paint and then I was adding lighter at the top. I'm painting my lips, uh, adding a very thick liner and rather straight. I'm also doing very straight eyebrows and I found pictures of geisha makeup on online and they regularly will have very straight eyebrows. And then I'm uh, underlining all my lines with black color and adding maybe some more additional lines to add the flow to my clouds. I'm adding some makeup around eyes, around nose and under my lips and uh, at the end I'm adding gold sun. I hope you enjoyed watching my picture comment to life. If you would like to see my videos as soon as they come out, please subscribe and press the bell button.